doing here? Well, you're on time. We're supposed to meet Jill Bear right over here in one of the restaurants. So let's go find him. Oh. It's a good thing you guys came along when you did. I was sure getting wet. We're looking for Jill Bear. He's going to be around here somewhere. Oh, there he is. Hey, how are you? You had a nice swim? Oh, I had a wonderful swim. I'm a little wet. Who's this? I'm Manu. <laughs> Hi, Manu. How are you? Fine, thank you. It's preparing for us a tandoori. In fact, tandoor means oven. And uh, an oven made with clay. It's a clay oven. And inside, you need a uh, high temperature. So you put your chicken uh, on a stick and you put it in, a, in the clay oven with high temperature. And the, the, the heat is made by a burning charcoal inside. This is important. Charcoal. And now I want to show you how to make it at home. At home? But you need all this stuff. This is the secret. Tomorrow morning, appointment at uh, 9 o'clock to the Tuk Tuk station. Tuk Tuk? This is a Tuk Tuk Freak Show. And uh, this is a cab on three wheels. Okay, let's get to the market to buy the spices. Here we go. Tuk Tuk are very popular. Huh? You see, every, everybody take it. This is very uh, useful because they can go in small streets. <laughs> Originally, the Tuk Tuk are named rickshaw. Rickshaw is a bicycle. And uh, now uh, they put a scooter inside. A scooter on three wheels. Here's the market, let's go. Okay. Holy cow. Yes, this is a holy cow. But you have to stop, huh? Because they are totally free. They are on the road and in the market. And look, look. He's going to see Larry, our cameraman. I suppose this is a, a, a real holy cow. I hope he's friendly. Yeah. So look Tom, you can find everything every day in this market. Fresh vegetables, look, lady fingers, spinach, but I have to find a dried red chili. Uh, let's go inside. Wow, look, a mountain of chili. Uh, yeah, in India we use a lot of chili. A little packet, huh? Oh, look, that's enough. A little family, huh? I take uh, my uh, turmeric, okay, my cumin, okay, black pepper, this is my uh, coriander seeds, okay, and poppy seeds, couscous in, co in Konkani, okay, <laughs> this is fresh coriander. the kitchen. Oh, what's all this? Uh, the spice we bought this morning. Red chili powder, dried red chili, clove, 
you mix onion, use only half, garlic clove, coriander seeds, ginger roots, and garam masala. Whoa, wow. And uh, I mix it uh, on, uh, on my, uh, my masala stone, my special masala stone. Garam masala is a mix of different uh, spices. Me personally, I buy it in an in a Asian shop. You find it everywhere, huh? no problem. But I, I want to explain you how, how to make it. I'm supposed to remember all this? D don't worry, huh? I explain you in detail. Huh? Okay. This is garam masala. All the spices are here. This is a mix of different spices. So, Tom, in garam masala you have nutmeg, anistar, cumin seeds, cinnamon, turmeric is a root and you can you use turmeric for instead of saffron. This is just for the color because saffron is expensive. Huh? Cloves, dried chili, cardamom, black pepper, uh, coriander seeds, and poppy seeds. And you crush it you know, on the stone. I have my own masala stone. Okay. But the garam masala is already made. Glad I don't have to make it. Uh, you can buy it already made in uh, many Asian shops. I have to crush with garam masala. All, the, the, all these ingredients, huh, I'll show you before. Uh, how do you mix it? Garam masala is already prepared, so, but I have to. <laughs> I have to mix it to crush it with the other ingredients. Huh? Okay. I put two tablespoons of garam masala on my masala stove. Okay. Two tablespoons of fresh chili powder. Wow. Two tablespoons full of garam masala. Two tablespoons full of red chili pepper. Absolutely hot. I cut three dried red chili without the seeds. Huh? Important, huh? Three dried red chilies cut up without the seeds. Important. Okay. Five or six clove. Okay. One inch of uh, ginger roots grated. I cut it in slice. Two tablespoons of coriander seed. Three or four garlic clove. Now we crush. We crush. Like this. This looks pretty hard to me. Even my son can do it. No way. Yes? Show me. See, he made this garam masala. Ma, can you come please? Look at this. Yes, this, this little boy. Yes. Huh? And after, we have to warm it. In a pan. Dry, slowly, slowly, and uh, with the hand dry. Huh? You can use a blender for doing this, but I prefer to the natural uh, material, me. antique way for the flavor. But use a, use a, use a blender, no problem. Okay. In a blender. Huh? So I dry it like this, you know, and I put half an onion sliced. Pass me the onion, please. There you go. Okay. Like this, okay. Chuk, 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 chuk. And you fry it until uh, they, they turn clear. Huh? So, Tom, here I have a, a cup and half of plain yogurt. Plain yogurt. And now I'm going to mix my spice in the yogurt. Whoa. Mix it. Like this. Okay. okay. And after, you know what? No. I put the yogurt. On the chicken. Now it comes together. <laughs> so this is the chicken I already prepared. Huh? Uh, I skin it. Uh, I cut it in piece and I slice it like this. Okay, this is important. Huh? Uh, two tablespoons huh, of lemon juice. Well, I put two, le two lemon. You can use salt from the sea. Sea salt. In India, I use rock salt. Uh, because you have a, a taste of uh, a grilled nut and salt, of course, huh? and uh, you ground it. Now I can put sea salt, okay. I mix rock salt and sea salt. Now I put yogurt with the spices. Look, I put just before red saffron for the coloring. And you can marinate it from half an hour to overnight. But uh, it's better if he marinate overnight. Huh? You're lucky, Tom. I know. <laughs> we can eat it tomorrow. Okay. Welcome back, everybody. And Tom is here, ready to eat. Look at the chicken now. It's, it's red. Yes. But it's good. 
Yeah, it's good. <laughs> well, okay, you know, it looks good, but I saw those guys with those big oven things. You don't have a big oven. Yes, you can You can cook it in an oven, in a barbecue, at home, in a pan. In a the pan? Hot pan. You need high, high temperature for, chi for chicken tandoori. So, hot pan with high flame, huh? some drops, some drops of oil, not a lot, huh? Pop, that's enough. Chuk-chuk. Okay. And I put, I my chicken. 10 minutes on each side. 10 minutes on each side with hot flame because we need high temperature. And uh, some drops of oil. Only, uh, not many oil. Uh. The dish is you cook it uh, between uh, 20 and 30 minutes maximum. And, uh, not many oil, so just some, some drops and uh, in a hot pan. Important. You smell it? Yeah. Good, huh? Okay, you do not cover the pan, huh? I just grill on this side, you see? Do my chicken. This looks good, you know. Can we eat it now? Is it ready? Yes, we can eat. Uh, ready like this? No, not in 10 minutes. Huh? 10 minutes. Oh. 10 minutes more, huh? Like this. Okay. It looks cooked now. I mean, it's black on the top. There. Yes, and you have to be black on the bottom too. 10 minutes, okay. Side, and you pierce with a knife or a, or, or a, uh, or a fork. And then see the juice run clear and it's ready. Ready? And I serve. The juice. The tandoori chicken is coming any moment now. <laughs> Waiting. They're going to bring the tandoori chicken out any moment now. And fresh in Up, up, up. Up, 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 up. For the flavor. And I'm hungry. Good. <laughs> you can eat with your, your finger. Huh? It's okay. Mm. Up. Oh, this is really good. Well marinated, good spices, new good, and time. And time. <laughs> we are going to be eating for a while again. So we hope you've enjoyed the show. And on behalf of myself, Tom, and Gilbert, the wonderful chef, we say goodbye to you for today from beautiful Goa here in India. Let's eat. <laughs> Bye. Target. Well, this looks really lovely. Yes, and it's possible at home. Okay, and it's possible at home. I want that for the last line. Though. Sorry, sorry. Uh, I'm, we're ready to eat. Eat? Say something. This looks really lovely. Th this looks really lovely. Look at this. Yeah, and it's possible at home. <laughs>